So 95 Degrees was actually an idea that started out on the toilet, much like a lot of other songs that I've written. Funny enough, another lyric idea for this one was Eat of the moment, it's 101 degrees Which could have been cool, but at the time it just was very unrealistic Afternoon could feel like 105 degrees for some spots I knew from the get-go that this song had to have like the fattest drums I've ever written, like made in my entire life So that was the first thing I worked on basically I started with a kick, bigger kick, snare, snare again, and another one Okay, one more Hi-hats and a few other embellishments. And that was the loop. Next was the guitars, and I pretty much already had like an idea of how I wanted the chords to go and everything in my head. So I kind of just got straight to work. Electric guitar. Another layer of electric guitar. Then of course there was this pad under all the other guitars that has like the crunchiest chords ever known to man. As far as the bass goes, I kept it pretty simple with this uh, sub I found on Serum. And while we're on bass, I also added this like subtle bass impact on each kick to give it a little bit more oomph. And then to sort of finish the instrumental off, there's this like little synth lead line on the top that sort of replicates the same melody in the hook. It's just like... And besides that, I really didn't do a lot of crazy stuff effects wise, but there are a few moments worth mentioning like this that plays at the beginning of each chorus. Or the um... That's tucked down pretty low in the second verse. I didn't really do anything super crazy with the vocal processing on this one, but there are like a few small points to mention, I guess. I wanted to make these vocals sound pretty intense and like gritty for this one. So I definitely use a lot of saturation to start it off. I also used a pretty aggressive noise gate to cut off the ends of each phrase as abruptly as I could without making it too awkward and uh one funny thing to mention is that the higher background vocals in the chorus the ones that are like i actually didn't record those at the pitch of the song they were recorded like like three keys lower or something like that i might not have to say this but unlike other singers i don't have the vocal range of bruno mars and i can't really hit those high notes but uh this is what those vocals sound like when i originally recorded them and then here's with processing and then here's back at the original pitch of the song and yeah so i sound like a chipmunk basically but i use this plugin called little alter boy to alter the format of the vocal and make it sort of um match how it would actually sound if i was singing it maybe it doesn't sound exactly how i would sound with the voice of bruno mars but um it gets the job done and I guess one last thing to mention um, with the vocals is this one little funny uh, Shut the f And I just thought it was funny because the sensor that plays on the is actually in the same key as the song So it kind of just like adds a little nice fill into the next line Her name ain't Georgia but she's got my favorite peaches And uh, that's pretty much it Other than that, I think the whole song was about done in like one or two days Patting myself on the back for this one. This is the first song I've ever released that was fully written, recorded, produced, mixed, and mastered by me, which is a pretty cool feeling. So I guess I just hope you guys like it as much as I do. Um, thanks for watching. 95 Degrees is out now everywhere. Go listen to it. Thank you. Okay, bye. I'm so immature I bite my tongue Cause I can't think of